Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. I'm out here on beautiful New Smyrna Beach. It's early morning. I just stopped here real quick. Wanted to make a quick note and introduce you to Ed. Ed is our franchise owner in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, when I met Ed, he uh, drove over to Charlotte and trained with Kevin. And then he sent his crew over to train with Kevin. And then he also flew down here to Orlando where we had a meeting about the franchise as well. And you know what, guys? If you're looking for the most trustworthy guy I've ever met, Ed is the guy. And he's there in Raleigh serving you know, all of that area, uh, clear over to Greensboro, up into Richmond, Virginia as well. So if you've got that drainage issue, sign up online and we'll send Ed right out. There. And I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up on this video and show you a couple of different nozzles that are available. You know, the one that I'm using in the video is a, a jet nozzle. It's just a straight jet nozzle like this. It's got little jets in the back and one that cuts in the front. But there's other nozzles available. This one is a rotary nozzle. Can you see how it turns? And it's got jets in the back of it. So when it kicks on, it just totally cleans that line. These things are available on Amazon uh, with the hose to hook up to your pressure washer for about $50. Okay, let's get on to the video. This is a mini hydrojet nozzle and it fits on the end of your pressure washer with a hose. Can you see the little jets in the back? On this nozzle, there's four jets in the back and they actually power the nozzle. They push the nozzle down through the line and there's a nozzle in the front that actually cuts the debris out of the line. Take a look. This is a totally clay clogged pipe. Solid clay. You can see how that nozzle just destroys the clay, just chews it all up and pushes it out and also pulls it back to where you're working. Let's take a look at that in slow motion. You can see the four jets in the back, how they're powering the nozzle. They're pushing it down through the line. The cutting jet that's in the front is actually cutting a hole through that debris. And then the four jets are able to push and also pull the debris back out of the line. And you can see it'll just cut right through almost any stoppage. Big chunk of clay comes out. But more than that, you see how when we pull it back, you can see how much debris is getting pulled back by the four jets in the rear. The real power of this thing is, is when you pull it back. Hydrojetting technology has been around for a long time. You know, way back in the early 80s when I worked at Rotor Rooter, the commercial end of that company, we used to go out and clean from manhole to manhole with the jetter truck. And it works exactly the same way, but now we have the technology to get down in these little pipes. We use the jetter to clean French drains and channel drains, especially micro-channel drains. But it's also useful for sewers, kitchen sinks, bathtubs, any small drain that you can send you know, a steel cable down, you can send this mini jetter down and actually make that line brand new. Let's take a look at another example. It happens fast, so pay attention. You can see how quickly that mini jetter just destroys that clay, just rips through it. Let's look at that in slow motion. As soon as I kick on the jet, the front nozzle cuts completely through the stoppage. Then the mini jetter comes up and it's just chewing up that debris, chewing up all the dirt and it's gone. The front nozzle is the cutting nozzle and the four jets in the back that powers the nozzle. They drive the nozzle forward through the stoppage. They also clean the line as you pull the cable, the hose back. It makes it brand new. You know, it actually works best in PVC because PVC, when it gets stoppages in it, it is very difficult for even a steel cable to get through that uh, schedule 40 or even the thin wall. The mini jet is a great way to clean a line. We use it mostly for channel drains and French drains. Let me show you some examples of cleaning both of these 
um, you'll be surprised how powerful this little jet really is, especially in the micro channel drain, the pool deck drain. And this is such a common problem across the country, across the world. Let's watch the mini jet clean a micro channel drain. Here's a piece of micro channel drain that we replaced. Take a look. It is totally packed, not just here at the end, but the entire section, which this is a 10 foot section, but it was like 40 feet long. Let's take a look. This is what happens on most of the lanai's in Florida and across the country for that matter. They just get packed full of sand and there's no way that you're going to get this clean without a mini jetter. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to stick it in there. We're going to fire up the jet. Got the pressure washer running. And it should start to pull itself through there as it goes. Okay, you can see the jet, how it's, how it's going through there. You can see it, how quickly it goes through. It's coming all the way down. You can see it pushing out the water. And you can see it coming out the other end. So now the secret is to pull it back slowly because we want to pull back. We want to get that debris out of the line. Keep it running, always. Keep the pressure on your pressure washer because without it, it's not going to pull that dirt back. But you can see it's pulling all that debris out of there. Looking really good. Let's come back here to the end and you can see all the debris coming out. See all that mud coming out of that line. You can see where the pressure is right there. It's just pulling all the sand back out of this line completely. We'll go through this a couple of times to get this really good and clean. Go slow, go slow. Start over again. The mini jet is very powerful. It's just like a jet engine. Those, those, uh, nozzles on the back of the those nozzles on the back of the jet they push this down through the line and if you let go of it it'll just go right through there so fast and we need to go slow so you can see it and it comes you'll see that it'll just push that all that dirt right out of that line completely remember I showed you how we can clean the gravel around the French drain because the pressure of this thing is so tremendous that it pushes through the holes of the slotted pipe and it cleans the gravel as well it, it's amazing all these people that say don't put the pressure washer down there it messes up your virgin system they're wrong and you know we're showing you every day how this works we're going to go all the way to the end you can go faster you go all the way to the end and you see it it's just blowing all that water or all that sand right out of there now we're going to pull it back real slow. You do this a couple of times and you've got a nice clean line. And you can easily test it with your garden hose. You know, just you know, let it run. Remember, channel drain across your lanai is pretty level. And so what it does is it kind of fills up. Once it fills up to a point, it begins to flow. We're looking really good. Come on back. You can see that jet just pulling off, pushing all of that dirt out of that line. You can see we've got a real clean flow of water now. It's looking really good, really good. But look at all the debris that that pulled out of that line. I'm going to step back. We're going to pull it on out of there. Come on out. Perfect. So now you can see all the debris that came out of this line. All we need to do is just rinse this off. So here's a typical uh, micro channel drain, the pool drain that you know we come out and we work on. And you can see water runs back towards that channel drain. And in the center where there's a low spot, the water has stopped flowing. And it's because it's just full of sand and dirt and debris. So what can we do? We can run that mini jetter. Can you see me pulling it back? And you can see it's just blowing all of the dirt right off the top of the channel drain. But more importantly, watch as it comes out of the channel drain. It pulls all the debris out and cleans that line thoroughly. Can you see down here at the bottom? See all that debris coming out of there? Now let's look at it in a French drain. And you can see the same thing. 
See all the debris that comes back out of the line? Another channel drain, three different camera views. The mini jetter totally cleans these lines. But you know, the real problem of channel drains is there's no discharge. See that downspout and where the channel drain comes out? There's no place for it to go. So water tends to back up. One of the interesting things that I've noticed on YouTube is that in countries like Australia and the United Kingdom, they use this hydrojet much more than the steel cable to clean their lines. And you know why? It's because of the access points. You know, here in our country, we don't really have that many inspection spots on the line called a clean out. And in Australia, the United Kingdom, it looks like that's pretty much code. They must have inspections, you know, a way to get down into the line to be able to clean it. And you know why? Because you must clean drains. There's nothing that lasts forever. Whether it's solid pipe, perforated pipe, corrugated pipe, or PVC, we can clean all of these drains. And of course, there are some drains that are collapsed or broken. At that point, we need to either make a repair or perhaps consider replacing the drain itself. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Don't forget to check out all the new channels of our franchise. You will learn so much. The links are in the description box below.